Hey, John Fink here from Doom HQ. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to import custom sounds to be used in your WAD. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom sound sequences for use with doors, uh, platforms, or to be used anywhere in the game environment itself. Um, I already have my set open, but to walk you through the process, you'll go to New Entry and create a sound sequence, sound sec file, SMD SEQ. You'll right click that and go to go to view as text and you'll be able to add your stuff there. I've, since I've already got mine, I'm going to remove this one. And let me just go over a brief uh, discussion or explanation of how this works. Uh, the breakdown is the colon and door equals your the name of your sound sequence itself. Um, door is what kind of object it's going to apply to. This could also be environment or platform. Uh, the zero is this sound sequence's position in the index of sequence, uh, sequence sounds. Um, sound sequences start at zero to be the first one, so this is the first position in the sound index. It'll use this. And now you basically iterate how to, how to go about playing the sounds on a triggered event. Um, play until done will play door star until, the, until it reaches the end of that sound and then it'll go to play repeat and it'll repeat this sound for as long as it takes for that door or lift to reach being fully open or being fully closed and it'll play, you'll use stop sound to tell it what sound to use once the process is done once, once it's closed and once it's open what end sound it'll do um, so you see I have three, you can add as many as you like uh, really for different uses um, but this is pretty much how it'll it'll work when you use it. And that's all there is to it. Um, check back for more updated tutorials. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to uh, override the default door sounds or platform sounds using these sound sequences. Until next time.